Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. So Halloween might have passed, but the Blood Moon remains. And the first thing I see in here is this is glowing, so that tells me we must have gotten one of the goals. So I haven't looked since Halloween. We're at 100% for the first ID card, so good job everyone. But we're only 28% to upgrade, well really, I'm surprised we even had the first one. Not that surprised after seeing such a jump originally. But it looks like with the pace we're going, we will get there in the end before, well how many days are left now? Still 11, so yeah, I think we're going to be getting it. But I expect something to happen here, so let's see. Oh, okay. Oh god, all I do is sound like the meat room. Sounds like a portal to the meat room in asylum. Do I need to do anything else? Uh, oh god, it says I can interact with it. I'm gonna step back. Now it's not glowing, so maybe... Is it just gonna make that noise forever? Let me check and see if I have the ID card. Uh, it might have to update. Oh, and there it is. Okay, that is really cool. Yeah, I love the, like, moon focus. How, like, the craters of the moon. Oh, that is so cool. Is there anything else? I don't think there's a... Those are prestige badges, and then... You get the special badge, right? But then also you can do the ID card thing, which I don't know, is this for Prestige 1? I think it is. I don't even know. It's been so long since I've... Oh, okay. See, I, it's been a little bit since I've used this. But okay, here's the badge, and then here's the ID card. So I'm going to leave that one on for a little bit. But man, even for the Tier 1, we're supposed to get an upgraded version of this, and this one looks pretty cool. But today, we're going to be going into Nightmare, and I'm continuing to my... Nightmare runs on the small maps, but guess what? The Blood Moon is still here, so we're going into Grafton on Nightmare. So, <laughs> this is the first time doing a Blood Moon on anything harder than professional. Alright, George Jones. Prevent, cleanse, and capture photo. So I guess the idea is that I want to go back to having some more chilled Phasmophobia games and not doing, do, going crazy like I did with the no evidence, but this is still Nightmare. So first thing I want to see is the cursed item. But I'm gonna just casually walk around, see if I can find the ghost. But we're on Nightmare, so like, what hiding spots am I going to get? God, and I'm- oh well, here, huh, here's one. I like this one enough, but you have to really break line of sight before the ghost sees you going in there, or you're just gonna be dead. Okay, still gotta be working on these though, can't forget. Oh no, that one's blocked off. I thought I might have had another one here. But I do have another totem. Oh god, game, come back to me. Well, I guess I should- oh my god, these lag spikes. I think it'll clear out. Is that the bone? Oh wow, it is. So much for it clearing out, please. But it's the breaker back here. Oh, we have the Ouija board. I'm probably not going to use that unless I have to. There's even a hiding spot back here, so I don't know if maybe Blood Moons do have more hiding spots than normal. I'm not sure. But- I felt that way even on professional, like every hiding spot was open. But we have some options to run this way. I hear I'm probably a totem upstairs. Now I didn't look back here. The ghost, <laughs> I'm also kind of losing track of cursed items. But the ghost is probably going to be upstairs again. Yes, here's the breaker. Now, I really like this hiding spot, and of course it's not open. So I've walked into pretty much every room, not seen my breath. I kind of want to turn on some lights around here in case we get hunted. I didn't look for the tarot cards. Here, the light switch is right here. What are the tarot cards, though? Alright. Then, it's either summoning... Oh, no, it's... Uh, Ouija board. Okay, see, if I get a summoning or item that I just, like... A cursed item that I just, like... <laughs> don't want to use right away, I forget about it. I'm still, like, hoping the monkey paw is going to be in here so I can, like, try the locked door thing. But if I've already, it's, you know, it's a small building, so I'm gonna find the ghost. It's probably up here. At this point, I don't even need my thermometer. I just need to walk into a room and see if my breath is cold. But man, you know what? This is supposed to be a Blood Moon ghost. <laughs> Where is the ghost? I haven't even heard any sign of it. Whoa! Okay, that's what I get for asking. <gasps> Did I need a photo? What is that gonna be a photo of? Probably nothing. Oh, two star interaction. Yeah, I didn't need a photo. I mean, he wasn't even really in front of me, so that's why I just took a shot in the dark. I never even saw him. He was, like, standing in- Ho 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 no, 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 so much for Nightmare. Okay, well, you're gonna at least get- Alright, Nightmare's fun on a blood moon. Was that even a fast ghost? Maybe that was a demon. I was walking around in the dark a lot, so who knows about sanity? Uh, it's- uh, I'm gonna say Faye. 
I'm gonna say the they one of the things I got from the no evidence came back to kill me. It was a they. Well, at least I got it right. What was that awful noise? I hear like someone whisper in my ear. Is there s someone behind me? Welcome back. Hey, I, I swear to God, someone was like whispering in my ear. It was this stupid moon. Go away. It's called it. It was that glitch again when I spawned in and I was right next to it. Okay, we're gonna go in again. That was at least explained properly because it was even faster than it should have been for a blood moon. So we got it nuked by a Thay, but I'm gonna run it back. All right, well, maybe that'll teach me to remember when I find the cursed item. But I'm gonna just try and walk through again. But hey, I wanna get the breaker on and turn on some lights so that way we don't drain sanity. But that was a Thay, so I was gonna hunt early pretty much no matter what. No breaker back here this time. Didn't see the tarot cards. I didn't really look for anything else. I don't have the breaker on. Let's see. None of these things. I'm gonna go back where the Ouija board is and look for the breaker again. I really should be looking for the hiding spot in there, but I'm just gonna keep going. Thought that could have been the bone. I never look back in this room. There's never like a hiding spot. Oh god, see, I, <laughs> I should have looked back here. There's never a hiding spot back here, and if the ghost is, isn't in here, I kind of just ignore this. This is like the biggest bathroom in the whole game. I thought I think I just heard a door, maybe upstairs. But let me do what I want to do and get the breaker on, which it's not here, so because it's in the attic. Well, so much for keeping my sanity high. I'm not wasting as much time, and look, there's a good hiding spot right there. So maybe I'll use it. Get one of these lights on in here. Now, are you touching the door? Look, we have the couch chair hiding spot. I'm just gonna walk through here, and this ghost is not gonna do anything to me. I don't know why I'm going for this. Okay, please, we need this breaker on. So, no summoning circle. Well, at least this light is on, but I swear I've had this scenario of more than a few times now where I'm walking into this door, and these scripts of hell are telling me there's something in here. Okay, but I don't see anything out of place yet, unless there's a beer can on the floor. Alright, we have the voodoo doll. So something I need to remember is where's the monkey paw on this map? I, I ran, or I tried to remember the locations. I remember the first floor, but I guess I'm not remembering the second floor properly. Well, maybe this time I'm going to get my thermometer. Here we go. <laughs> At least I'm getting these for <laughs> the challenge. Okay, part of me already wants to take a sanity, and you know what, I'm going to. Because I want to find the ghost room. Maybe if it touches a door, I'll hit it with the UV, and then I'll put a... I want to put a book down, but maybe we'll look for ghost orbs, because it could be a mimic. Now, what are the objectives? Cleanse, escape, and then motion sensor. So, at least no photo. And if I'm really lucky, I could just even walk around in the dark and find a ghost orb, but I don't want to do that. I really should get my lantern and walk around with that. I'll tell you what, since I think the ghost is actually on the second floor, I'm, I could be dead wrong. Let's just leave it down here. I'm gonna drop these things. I wanna go get my lantern, so maybe I'll just get another three things in here. But I'm gonna walk around with my lantern for the sanity, and just for immersion, I guess. But I'm going to try and find the cold room, but what could happen is I just find the ghost immediately. But since we're getting a lighter, might as well get a smudge in there. And then, let's just get other evidence items in there ready. Actually, that's all I can carry, I guess. Okay, we're making a little pile here of stuff. I don't need the smudge. <laughs> I do need that lighter, damn it. So I'm going to take this. Oh! Was that... That must have been upstairs. Okay, so much for going on this little adventure looking for the ghost. EMF. Was it really the door? It had to have been right here, because I didn't hear it through a wall. Okay, you know what? No, it would have been on the first floor. Because I it didn't hear... It did, see, this is where I'm getting confused. There's no wall here, so would I, would I have heard that door normally, or would I have heard it like it was on the second floor? See, these are the little things I don't know. But it was probably this door, or back there. Okay, I guess I am going to go walk around in the dark with my lantern. Alright, let's go ahead and light this thing if I can. Oh, I never picked up the lighter. There. Or if I did, I dropped it again. I'm going to light that. Dro okay, I think the ghost is down here. Ah, uh, my EMF is up here. So much for being right about that, or if I- where? Did I leave anything? Okay, I just want to make sure there's nothing else up here. EMF is right here. <laughs> I'm gonna drop my normal light, and just use my headlamp from now on. Okay, unfortunately, I'm losing <laughs> that window touch, but I think it might just be this room. Let me grab the thermometer. 
It was right next to me this whole time. I never saw my breath in here. How long do I have to stay in here? Whoa, it went down to... It might be going down to freezing. Went down, it went down under one, but that doesn't mean freezing just yet. Well, that is very cold. Well, I wonder if I can finally do my thing where I use a table here. I don't see... Is that you? I just threw something and you sounded like you threw it back. Oh wow, maybe you are throwing crap in here. How did I not hear any of these things get thrown? No UV. Alright, I'm gonna try and get a line of equipment going in here. It's very hard for me to keep track of this stuff for some reason. Maybe it's because this nightmare ghost has got me so distracted. But here's all the things we can work with. Since I have this in my hand, I'm just gonna go ahead and look. I did look- oh! Oh, 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 look, there are ghost orbs in here. I should have spent that little bit longer of a time and I would have found them. I, I walked in here for a second looking for ghost orbs. All right, at least we have some evidence this time. Now I have to remember, we are nightmares, so we're only getting two. And I'm more than happy to find one piece. Can I? There, that's a nice little spot for it. Okay, now the ghost has not been doing anything. I'm gonna grab this as well, put it over here. Did this burn out, or did the ghost blow that out? Because I had to relight that, but it may have been just because I had to pick it up in my inventory. Well, since we're in the dark, are you here? Let's have a little <laughs> seance session talking to the ghost. Are you here? Are you friendly? Please respond. Are you here? Oh. <laughs> are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you far? Maybe I should walk around. Where are you? Are you here? <laughs> Is this your favorite dinner table? Are you in here, maybe? No, because it's definitely cold. Oh, now- oh, wait, what? I walk in here and now I see my breath. It's gotta be this room, though, unless it's a hauntu making other rooms cold. Let's check the thermometer. It was throwing stuff- oh, hmm, as soon as I walk in here, it's 20. Yeah, it likes- oh, and it's freezing, okay. There, that makes my life a little easier. <laughs> Not really if it's a revenant, though. I was thinking it could have been a hauntu with how cold this was, though. Now, I hear that. Now, I, do I have the bone in this game? I don't even remember. No, I never found the bone. Okay, I'm not worried about going for a perfect game, but I would like to get the ghost right on Nightmare on a Blood Moon. So then our options are Revenant, Yuri, Hantu, or Onryo. Which Onryo we can test. Oh. Okay, well there's one blowout. If it hunts on the third one, see this is why I need to get a crucifix in here, but I don't know what my sanity is. And Onryo is going to blow out more, but on the third blowout it'll hunt. So maybe I should test that. Here, I'm going to light it again. We're going to see how many times it blows that out. But obviously, if I get hunted in it and it's a revenant, we know it's a revenant. Now, the Yuri has the door ability, and a Hantu, we really can tell. So these two, we can easily tell from a hunt. And an Onryo, we have to do the trick. So I need to go get a crucifix, but it's only going to work if I'm low enough sanity to be in hunt range. But I, I kind of want to see if I can get the ghost to blow out the candle three times and just to initiate a hunt that way, and then maybe I'll escape with a smudge stick. Maybe if I like smudged in there, I could close that door and then, oh god, it's, you gotta like really break line of sight before you go into that hiding spot though, so it's not a guarantee. Alright, give us a sign, George. It was George, right? Oh, this is, that was the last game. This is Sharn Hall. Wow, that last ghost just really erased my memory of it. Well, oh, I guess I could turn that off. Oh, oh! Where are you? How, why do I just have such a... Why do I have such a hard, hard time seeing the ghost sometimes? Okay, now the ghost wants to come after me. That was two blowouts. I'm going to see if on a third blowout it starts a hunt. Because it on this third blowout, if it's an Onryo, it should hunt 100%. At least that's what I've been led to believe. What I might do is go upstairs. Do we have that hiding spot this time? I think we do. Yes, okay. I'll go upstairs then, because that's going to break line of sight way better. I need to be seeing. So this is the first test we're going to do, is see if it's an Onryo by waiting for this new tier 3 lantern of mine to get blown out. And Wow, I, I'm happy that the Blood Moon's still here, because it's really fun having all this environmental stuff going on. You close this door from the event. I don't like that being closed. And also, let's turn on some more lights. But I don't really want to be away from that. Oh wow, it closed this from the event too. That could be like a red herring for it being a hunt. I never really knew it could close the front door like that. Alright, ghost. I just need you to blow out this candle one more time, and then we'll know if you're an Onryo or not. 
How did you get this plate to land perfectly on that leg like that? I realized I don't know what I'd do without smudge sticks in this game. It's a completely different game if you don't have the ability to just smudge to get away from the ghost. I think I'm going to sit in the dark and try and drain my sanity more. I know if I'm near the lane turn it'll keep it up, but I should still be draining it no matter what. So I'm going to continue wait. Continue waiting. That was a strong throw. But I know you're not a polter. Really, a hunt could help a lot. I think this is a haunt too with how cold it was right away. But I say right away, it did take me a minute to come back and find this ghost room. I saw those lights flashing. I don't like that. And how have, how have you not blown this out yet? Oh my god, yeah, it's good to see you. But I really need to figure out what you are. There you go again with that slam in that door. But you are draining my sanity, which I wanted. Only problem is, maybe I should get a crucifix in here now. I was thinking if I should bring some stuff in here, and I'm going to try if it'll let me out of here. Alright, for safety, two crucifixes. And luckily, we don't need any more evidence. And then maybe the salt. Oh, the. Uh, what? I swear I cycled through my inventory, but I guess I just got to my lighter and thought that was it. <laughs> Oh, I just realized if it blows out the candle and I'm not in there, I guess this isn't going to work. But if we're at hunt range, I'm going to put the crucifix underneath it. Did, oh my god. I am so bad. I went to throw the camera and I didn't think maybe I should throw everything else down. Whatever, I have everything I want. The two crucifixes and then the salt. So this is what I went for to begin with anyway. And guess what? You seemingly did blow that out. I'm going to do this. Maybe here. What's that? <laughs> Oh, we just figured out what you were. See, I, it sounded like two different doors entirely. And maybe it was. It, no? I guess it just slammed this door and did it. But that was the Yuri door touch ability. Because it slammed the door and then we heard another door go off. And it, it was all that one door. Alright, we know what the... <laughs> oh, we know what the ghost is, but I don't have my crucifix. Oh, I don't have the crucifix, but I don't have a smudge this time. Oh, remember what I said about I needed smudge sticks to survive? Please. Oh, this time there is a hiding spot back here. <laughs> See, <laughs> nightmare. You cannot really keep track of your sanity. I knew I was down, but I, I, I'm just so all over the place. I should have put those damn crucifixes down. Why didn't I just walk in there and put the crucifixes down? I wasn't ready for it to super start hunting. And also, it distracted me with its ability. But yeah, we know for sure what it is now. I didn't really get to hear it hunting. But look, <laughs> there's no way... I just a normal ghost is gonna slam a door like that and apparently it could happen But I've never seen a normal ghost slam a door and then make that sound afterwards Now I think I panicked and dropped all my crucifixes. I'm gonna put this in the back corner. Oh Please put it down Try and keep Track of my inventory. Did you just do that as I was walking by with that boot? Oh And then I panicked and dropped. <laughs> I thought like maybe it would Keep the ghost away from me. I was just hoping the crucifix. Oh, not again with the burning in my hand. Am I accomplishing anything with this game now? We know what the ghost is. Escape? You're telling me that wasn't me escaping? Motion sensor and then cleanse. Okay, we gotta get a view of this ghost. Give me the. Okay, got my lighter. Turn off my headlamp. Gonna use the big light. Now this time I'm gonna. I guess wait for the crucifixes to be used up. Let's like leave that open just in case so we know if it's going to be a hunt or not. Now, might as well get some photos. I'm not going to try and fill up everything. But if I can, I'll take them. I'm going to yeah, leave this over here. I think she could hunt from that corner. No, I thought that may have been thrown. This crucifix is still here. Well, it's going to be gone in a minute, it seems. Okay, so that should be... Two photos. I'm only getting a little bit of extra money from these. So what do I do? I'm gonna survive a hunt. Oh, oh my god, this shadow broken back. You, I, I know I have no sanity. We need to get the motion sensor and then escape. Let's get this done. Maybe I'll take sanity and then we'll get this final thing done for fun. That way I can get the, all the objectives. I think I found all the moons I can find. Unless there was one back there I didn't get. When I was hiding, did I see one? I have my camera, right? I'm gonna <laughs> just let you use up all those crucifixes, I guess. But did I see one back here I didn't get? Yeah, I did. See? 
I got so confused from that uh, other game dying so fast. Well, let's get back in here. <laughs> there should be only one more charge on a crucifix in here. Can't believe it's going this hard on me. Here, you use up that one in the corner. I'm going to put this over here just to make sure you don't hunt from over here. But that's one charge left. This one should be totally gone. That EMF. <sighs> Yeah, it was trying to warn me about- it really is trying to warn me. Oh my god, look at you. Oh, look at that! That is awful. <laughs> I never- I never even realized, like, she could be on here. Oh, please, I saw you coming up the stairs. Please let this hiding spot work. That was awful. I forgot about the whole eyes. The eyes are like the scariest thing to me, man. They make these ghosts so much scarier. Seeing those eyes coming at you in the dark. Alright, if we can survive though. Yeah, this is the boosted speed. Oh, okay. This ghost gave me its ability again. Another Yuri on Grafton. So, and also when we got hunted, we know it's not a Revenant or Hantu. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say from that ability, and it probably wasn't a normal ghost doing it. So, yeah, I think the Onrio would have blown out the candle a lot more often too, and I was sitting there for a long time waiting for it to be blown out. So, oh, motion sensor. Okay. Ah, I, I always think that's the last thing I need to do. But let's just take Sanity. This is basically almost over. I'm going to take Sanity to full. We're just going to get the motion sensor and then be done with it. Oh my god, the speed boost from the... Uh, <laughs> that is insane. You can just use the uh, Sanity to get back and forth from the location. And there we go. Alright, well, that was easy. And at least if you wanted to waste your... Sanity to like get back faster you could. I guess it's like a speedrun strat. Okay, now we have all the objectives. We know what ghost it is. And in terms of photos, we actually did pretty good, but not full. So, I don't know. It'll amount to something. Okay. I've never had a Yuri, uh, like, be wrong, I guess. If I've ever heard that ability, it's pretty obvious. But I think ghost can, like, slam a door. But they're not going to slam a door and then you're, you hear that doorknob sound. If you hear a door slam, especially like two doors on top of each other, that's always that ability. 1600. Well, that's a nightmare plus a blood moon. Uh, I wish we'd gotten that bone. <laughs> I mean, I know I could have looked around for it, but I, after that first death, I really just wanted to survive. Yeah, one ability and we heard it, so that was really important. All right, so now that we're past Halloween, I'm going to be continuing playing, but I'm going to be going back to more normal maps, so not every run's going to be... A blood moon but when I'm playing on nightmare like I've been doing I've been playing the small map so if we come across a small map that's a blood moon still we're gonna be doing nightmare on a blood moon so now that you know there's a whole bunch of new people playing the game I do want to run through all the old maps and keep going so we're gonna explore the big maps again and we're gonna just keep going through and I'm gonna continue learning nightmare that's my main thing is learning the game more and more but also leveling up and getting all the tier 3 equipment as well so there's still a lot to do with this game so if you're still here Thank you so much for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.